wonderful world of Dota 2. Oh, there I am. You heard me for a second there. Hello and welcome everybody back. We're in the EU qualifiers. The action is heating up. We're possibly even sort of getting ready to settle down as the top four are looking to be somewhat decided. Not fully, um, but it's pretty close. OG clearly at top. Well, before we get into that, Draskal, we got the wonderful Cinder in. We got the wonderful Purge. How you folks doing? Great. You're just Draskal. We're wonderful. We got the top six eh, I'm finalized. <laughs> yeah. The, we got top six. Guaranteed. True. Final um, tribe. They're done. Kingdra, they're done. Who's going to lose next? I don't know. That's a very morbid way of putting it. <laughs> Who's out next? There's there's some really good competition. Like Every region has some genuinely some very good teams. I think EU looks across the board better, I would say, in terms of teamwork than CIS looked. Um, maybe that's the case for, for many more regions, but at least EU, EUs look good to me. I'd say that the, the one thing about EU that the, the drafting has been a bit off the wall. Like the game we just watched when we saw like OD Spectre together. Like I see those heroes and I go, where's your objective capabilities? You know, it's the same team that keeps doing this. I know, but it, it's more yeah. than just them. I think that a lot of other teams are guilty mm -hmm. of that as well. Blakepool did it yesterday. They had yeah. a game with Slark TA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which they got rolled by OG in. So yeah. it's sometimes it happens. Like the thing is, sometimes you just tunnel vision on hero matchups a bit too much and you forget where you're headed with your own lineup. You're like, oh, they have Morph and. Was it, it was Morph Ember? No, sorry, it was Morph. Um, what was it Koifer was playing in that last game? Leech's Prophet. DK. Morph DK. Yeah. yeah. Morph DK, okay. and you're like, oh, OD is great against these two cores. Let me just put this OD mid. And then, you know, sure, you've got a good core matchup, but does your lineup even make sense in the first place? And it doesn't. So then, you know, you got to make sure that your pieces fit together. And if they're good against the opponent, that's great. But in the first place, they need to at least have their own synergy. Would you say yep. that's the most important thing? That, like, yes. You'll take a bad. You, would you take a bad 1v1 matchup mid? And a bad late game core matchup just to make sure that you have like the right amounts of tempo on your team. Like one greedy carry maybe and then like a mid that can at least do something. Uh it depends how bad the matchup is. I wouldn't pick Ember into Huskar, for example. Like if if Ember is good with my lineup, but it's like a flat out completely unplayable lane, I think lanes still matter, of course. Like lanes are yeah. very, very important, but Generally, with a well-organized draft, you can usually get both, where you have like competitive lanes and your lineup makes sense with itself. Uh, we, we very rarely see some of the like very strong teams get outpicked in both aspects. Like Sometimes maybe you have slightly weaker lanes, but you actually have good team fight and your lineup is good, or uh, you have really, really strong lanes, but you're lacking a little bit in the team fight aspect. Uh, that's one of the big differences here is that some of the drafts that I've seen out of these EU qualifiers, for example, I just feel like they just wouldn't happen to the more experienced and stronger teams that are obviously already in TI, for example. Yeah, so I agree. That's one of the things you you got to work out so you don't fall into these traps. But they've happened to everyone. Like, everyone has had some weird drafts along the way. Um, Except for OG, pretty much. Oh, I just, I meant in general across, like, the year. Got it, got it, yeah. got it, got it. Te teams fall in traps once in a while, but it's just way more consistent for for the stronger teams. Well, uh, worth noting that we are still waiting for the lobby to get up right now. They're playing these match concurrently, going one after the other. Uh, that's what that word means. And it's Kingdra <laughs> versus Kingwin that we're waiting for. <laughs> the King-Off. The King-Off. Oh. Does, does that sound bad? Good. What's the best branding term? I like King-Off? King-Off is fine. Okay. Nothing wrong with it. You could do something with like monarchy, maybe. You know what I mean? We need a Don King. Who's the to best dictator? Maybe yeah, I shouldn't say that in this country right now. And then we need a uh, so Samil to decide <laughs> who wins. Satisfied, Draskal? Never satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I uh, I think that it's uh, it's going to be kind of a weird one. Um, Kingwin, right now we talk about the teams that are at the top of the brackets, and we can take a look at those brackets in a second. I think as well. Um, OG clearly through Wind and Rain um, are the top team right now with four wins outside of OG, and then Kingwin and Blinkpool right up there too. So if you take a look at the matches that are still left to be played, uh, basically Singularity and Alliance need a little bit of help here. They need either Kingwin or Blinkpool to start losing matches. Uh, the only real exception to this is maybe you can end up seeing like Singularity take down Wind and Rain, and if they win that matchup, that's a two-point swing as far as the way that playoffs might look. But that's the only the really big matchup that can change things. Otherwise, it's other teams that need to help them out with wins. Basically, Singularity and Alliance need to non-stop win, and they need 
uh, Blink Pool. They need to tie one of the other teams that only gets three wins. Well, so. Singularity are pretty much the ones who are in control of both teams' fate right now. Yeah. I mean, sure, if Alliance win out from here, it's going to give them the best chance, but I think they still need Singularity to win that There's, game. There's uh, five more matches to be played, and then EU groups is over, correct? Yes, five yes. more games. Is there any chance we can pull up the schedule on screen that might uh, help some of the, the calculus? The calculus. If they have it. On. I didn't sign up for math. I don't mean the next schedule. I mean, like, I got the rest Thank of the night. Rob's if working if on it. He's, he's a god back I, I haven't seen it yet today. Maybe we did at the start of the day. I don't remember. Yeah. Can we see the, the schedule for the rest of the day for the matches, just so we can do calculus based on group stage? I, I, lo I love matchup speculations where you look at, like, this team needs to be this team, and this yeah. team needs to be this team, and this, and then you spend, like, 20 minutes wrapping your head around all the things that can happen, and then they just lose game one. <laughs> like, what the, why did I even do this? Uh, <laughs> hey, we need we got 20 minutes to fill, man. We're all doing right, it. So, so This is not updated. Alliance won. That's true. Yep. But we have Kingdra Kingwin. Kingwin, clear favorites in this, which would give them nice. four wins, so they would be... Top four guaranteed with four mm -hmm. and three. Mm -hmm. I think at this point, four and three is a guaranteed top four, and three and four is a potential tiebreaker, right? Yep. Unless yeah. I miss Well, the, the two teams that are on the edge are Singularity Alliance, right? Singularity and Alliance are outside of the top four right now. And they're the two that are fighting to tie for, for fourth, correct? Exactly. And they Sing play each other. So, right. so the best case scenario for Alliance is that Singularity beat Wind and Rain, and then they beat Singularity later. And right. then that would put them in top four. Right. Then they would all be three and four if. No, it doesn't matter because if Alliance Singularity lose both their games. Alliance Singularity both have two wins, so whoever wins that matchup is whoever loses that is out. No, because right. Singularity can beat Wind and Rain, and then they both three. And yeah, oh, if okay. that happens, because then they yeah. can also. It's like a really specific set of things. Singularity needs to beat Wind and Rain and lose to Alliance. Then they're both three and four, and then Blink Pool needs to lose both their series against King Wind and Final Tribe. Then they're so also conceivably we could have a four-way tie. Technically, but yes. that all hinges on Wind and Rain losing to Singularity, which I think is unlikely. Yes, there are multiple things that are unlikely. I think based on what we've seen from the final tribe, it's also unlikely they beat a blink pool that has a lot to play for. Yeah. So I so I think it's so. maybe the the teams to look at are is is Singularity gonna be able to tie with Alliance is maybe the the one possible tiebreaker that maybe seems obvious to me. But again, that's also that would mean that Blink Pool would need to lose both of their matches. Yes. Oh, because oh, Blink would be their fourth, the other fourth. Okay. Right. Yeah, I forgot Blink about Pool that. of three and two. Which isn't okay. necessarily outside of the realm of possibility. They're playing Kingwin, which I think is a rough matchup, and then the other one is TFT, which Blink Pool should stomp through. That's the last match of the day. Yeah. So how many how many wins does Kingwin have? Three. Three two. Three Damn. Two. So yeah, this is this is tough for Alliance Singularity then. Yeah. It's a lot of things that have to happen. But again, if you're Alliance, or I mean, if you're Singularity, just win. If they win out, I think that they're in a good spot right yeah. now because that would mean that they would be able to knock out. Um, who the heck was the other one? They would need one. They wouldn't knock out Wind and Rain. Um, It'd have to be Blink Pool or Kingwin. Yeah. That would be the only way. Yeah, they might even need a little bit of help even then. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> this is one of those crazy <laughs> things when you do these uh, round robin groups and the groups are pl pretty close is how much each individual game ends up meaning like that one blunder alliance had yesterday was it's not just that they lost they lost to blink pool yeah and they could have definitely won that game they were like 12k up they had elena racks they had aegis and then they made this weird split push play instead of just committing together if they win that game we're in a totally different position first of all they might have done better across the yeah. day because they would have been had more momentum and blink pool would have lost that game and been currently two and three Instead of three and two from that loss, an alliance could have been three and three. That's yeah, very true. That's I mean, that being one said, I, I do think that alliance are looking a lot better today. I know you were nappy time during uh, <laughs> during those games, but they they did look a lot better. Like yeah, not only from a draft really perspective, good. but from you know how they went about winning the last match they just played uh, against Final Tribe. They've looked very good when they had Wisp. That's the thing. I think that's just that's also true. Yeah. That hero just makes that team look. But so much better. Everything ignore, is just ignoring the wisp. The rest of their the rest of their lanes went great. They did the uh, they did a night stalker uh, oracle, oracle offlane versus a specter warlock, and it looked abusive that game. It was like completely That's different. Great. From That's the great. Game. I do wonder how much of that was the arcane rune too that the oracle got. I yeah. think it was more the orb of venom. The f okay. uh, Kevin talked about ferrying the salve out for the night stalker for extra regen, so he could just continually run at people. And then also he bought a quelling blade instead of yesterday when Cinder and I were casting a game and Bambo didn't buy a quelling blade and he just had no creeps. So you yep. have no quelling, no orb of venom, and then they yeah. just went even. They on got. CS. They actually lost the lane. Yeah. Like they went up. Yeah, he did. He was behind. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, it was the exact same yeah. lane. It was the exact yeah. same lane. Yeah. 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 It, it can make a really different outcome. They Small learned. things can make it. And very the crazy difference. part was that like in Bambo's one is like once at nighttime he went kind of even, but in this game once it was nighttime the lane was over for spec yeah. for like a couple minutes. It was like 
The Oracle left, and then they different. got a kill on the uh, Sand King up in the top lane, actually. Yeah, that was like when he had solidified his lane, got a Vanguard. He's like, all right, I don't need to be here anymore. This is your lane now, Night Stalker. And he didn't take the tower for a really long time, but yeah. it made sure that Spectre was like jungling and stuff like that. So yep. it was really. And he, he did get the Arcane Rune at two minutes as an Oracle, which is amazing, because then you go to lane and you're like, oh, free mana, cool. <laughs> Spam spells like crazy. But um, yeah, they, they lane. It was like perfect case scenario for the off lane. And it made uh, Specs life. He never got in the game really. Yeah, I, I think that uh, the other part of that was the the Sand King with the Wind Ranger, which I, on theory I thought like, yeah. I was like, oh, this looks pretty cool. But it kind of was this weird scenario where they ended up like not being able to find kills really because the IO just out regened them. So that's like a lane where you're trading uh, regen, but that's not really great against the IO. Whereas maybe they would have gone for like a kill lane like the Sand King Leshrac that yeah. would have ended up yeah. uh, being a little bit better for them. It's it's really reminding me of the game we had with Blink Pool yesterday, though. Like, yeah. two greedy cores and a Sand King that needs a dagger. It's kind of yeah. the same game, just that in Blink Pool's game, the position for Sand King just never or barely ever got the dagger before the game was over. But it's just like, imagine you're that Spectre in that game. You get destroyed in lane. Who do you turn to? Like, what's going to happen? It's like, guys, I need a gank. Uh, I need a gank. Me too. Me too. <laughs> okay. Uh, Who's ganking this lane, guys? Is our OD ganking this lane? I don't think so. So yeah. we do still have a little bit of time before the match starts up. Um, wanted to pick your guys' brains a little bit on on heroes that uh, you feel like are sort of the the if if you can even call heroes OP this patch is it is it like individual teams or is Wisp it is like OP. heroes OP? Uh, that's a couple that seem uh, a bit too strong. I, I think I Wisp, Beast. <laughs> okay. Beast to me seems uh, Beastmaster is very strong. Ridiculous. Uh, who else? I think Chen yeah. is Chen's too powerful, really but it's it really it's one of those heroes that I think are a lot more um, for Chen to be too powerful. You need to have a really good player on it. I think in for example in pubs, yeah. IO just a decent IO almost plays itself by now. It used yep. to be a lot harder to play. Now it's a lot easier. Uh, but Chen is still a very mechanically difficult hero. Dis decision making is also hard, mm. so it's it's more of a you know it's really powerful in the right hands, and I think it's too strong. Right, but there's only in this qualifier a handful of players that can even play the hero well. Because like so I, it's a it's a reward thing, I guess. I again look at like the Ember from OG and how well Ana has been playing that, and it it looks OP when you see it, or like the Quaswex Invoker, right? I like, think it's a yeah. it's important to be able to distinguish when a hero is actually strong as an OP as opposed to when a team knows how to pick it and when to pick it and yep. knows how to make it look good. I think yep. Ember falls into that latter category I agree. for me personally. Okay. Because if you look at Io, Io is just good in every single game, in every single lane, pretty much no matter what your heroes are. <laughs> and it's just ridiculous. I and I Beastmaster is the same. Okay, So when, when I think of something as strong or OP, it can go to multiple lanes, it can fulfill multiple roles, it doesn't necessarily have to be not greedy or greedy. It just has to be able to be picked in a lot of situations. Because the more situations you can play it in, that means the better matchups it has. The better matchups it has means it's good. So, yeah. I, I definitely agree with your definition. Um, I, I would say Beastmaster's uh, definitely a little bit strong. Like, he has some limitations. He can't land with a defensive hero, for example. So he's, like, not always good. But And I would say that Ember is trending a little bit towards being a very good pick. Like, he's been trending in popularity i think this event like he seems just good always when they do pick him he never has bad games kind but of. but I, I also would say that ember like sin mentioned earlier like a huskar matchup not that you would see it every game but there are heroes that ember can't lane against yes and if you know that it's going to be a mid which i guess is probably the, the issue that most teams have is that you can kind of alternate it you can switch it to safe lane if you think yes. it's going to be bad which gives the hero some more viability in the picking it like third or fourth but Which. when it gets first phase picked, like what OG did, you can yeah. shut it down both lanes. And then I want to see them play it. Like, yeah. what, I want to see what they do if if he gets countered both sides. Because there are there are heroes that destroy Ember in both lanes, like where it's not even close. Right? Yeah. There's unplayable mid matchups, and there's like barely playable side lane matchups. I would say. What about uh, Wind Ranger? Wind Ranger seems like another hero that's just above the board good. Has some counters, but see, Wind Ranger is weird for me because I do think it's strong, as in it can go a lot of places, it can do a lot of stuff. But the hero is, it is a player thing to me. I think that a really good Wind Ranger who lands like the two hero shackles consistently makes a much more uh, viable case for an OP hero than a guy who just harasses well in lane and throws out power shots. Like that guy to me is not making the hero look OP. But Jerax, for example, like we played it earlier, it looked ridiculous because his shackles were on point. So it's, I think it's like a, what Sinner would say with Chen, the better the player, the better the hero looks. That's true. 
Yeah. Yeah. Wind Ranger is just a nice, flexible pick. It's what's a good example of another hero that wasn't like in the past. There was a say Rubik, for example. Rubik mm -hmm. was picked a lot in the last half year. There's been like a month or two now where it hasn't been popular because of the really powerful lanes. And I don't think people were like, wow, Rubik is so OP. It was just, this is just a nice hero that we can build into our lineup. But it was never like, oh, Rubik's win rate is ridiculous or Rubik is winning every lane. It just feels good because it's flexible and can work against most stuff and work with most stuff. That's how I see Windranger right now. It's kind of funny how like the the criteria you need to fit for it to be a flex pick changes with the meta too. Because like before... Yes. You know, I, I don't know exactly what it is necessarily that you would have wanted, like a just I guess hard lockdown with the the Rubik, at least with the initial lift. But um, now I, I feel like you need to be able to check the boxes of like strong laner, or of somebody that can team fight early. It like it changes from patch to patch so much now. Yeah. Well, the if you if you look at the true like tier one OP heroes, they check a bunch of boxes, right? Like Beastmaster, strong lane, can push, ridiculous damage, solo kill potential. Helps Roshing. Yeah, he helps Roshing. Like he he checks so many like things off the list just by picking one hero, right? And Wisp is a bit different, but he offers you like global presence, almost infinite sustain in lane. He's like he can carry whatever items you need for the team. There's, has there's a save. Has a save. Yeah. There, there's the the true tier one like OP OP heroes. They they fill a lot of boxes. OP OP heroes. OP OP. OP OP. Yeah. The OP of the OP. Well. <laughs> <laughs> <Battle. laughs> well, we've been talking for about 20 minutes and there's still no lobby which i'm a little bit salty about uh, but wait, are we waiting on another game to finish is I, that what's happening I, well there's no other games being played though. so no uh, update okay got it so we're not going to get to see the draft i, I don't i don't think I, Rob, can they hear you, or should we... No, okay, okay. So, so the game was hosted in captain's mode, but it was not on the ticket, so we didn't see it, didn't get in. Therefore, they will remake the game all pick. After so they're done drafting. Right. So we're, basi we're basically waiting for the draft to finish, yes. and then the game will come up, and then we get to watch it. Let's talk about what we think they're going to draft. That's a terrible <laughs> idea. Um, <laughs> no, I like this. I like this. Craft. I'll draft against Draskal. Okay. Penguin. Okay. Let's, uh, king, oh, here right. we go. Hold on. Let's do this. Oh, this is easy. Uh, why don't you, I'm going to create a lobby. It's going to be a Wait, Dark I have Willow. to be King Drew? Yeah. You're King Drew. Here we go. Bro. Hop into this lobby. Wait, Get in my lobby. lobby. Pick Dark Willow. Let's do this. <laughs> they this lost is going to be amazing. Pick They're going to pick things. Wait, how do I? Like, we actually. Let's see. Uh, do we have any. Do you have Bamboo on your friends list, actually? I do. Oh, let's do oh, that. Can, oh, so we can watch That's a much time? better idea. No, I think the mock Wait, he's in a lobby. The they may have been done with the draft. He's in a level two. He's level two pudge. He's in a lobby as a level two pudge. I don't right. know what's happening. Oh, well. <laughs> Try to watch the game then. Maybe they right, didn't the, remake. You guys got to remember, Kingdra is out, and uh, somebody reported or said that they weren't practicing for very long before this tournament. Therefore, they are gonna dick around. Oh, why don't you hop into it and That's see what like happens? Lobby, right? Yeah, a little bit. Watch game. That should still work. Maybe. I have no idea. I don't know. It might have like a five minute delay. Okay. Oh, uh, I did. they're in there. Wait, are they not remaking the game? All right, now I can walk watch off you, right? Uh, We're hacking. Potentially. Where are you at here? All right, I'm gonna watch the game too. So wait, yeah, it is definitely not a ticketed game because <laughs> none of them have <laughs> none of them have uh, their actual pro tags. All right, let me log so, off so much for a remake, now. guys. We did it. All right, well this is uh... fire with that admin. Man, Somebody why do I have the OBS? I didn't sign up for No, this. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm, and this is the legendary duel yours. lane between the day I die and uh, of Rishkia, whatever his name was. I know. It kind of makes mm -hmm. me physically ill that the admin didn't ticket this game. Oh, Nobody gets that. Nobody. Rob, oh, take me off Oh, it camera. took me a second. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Rob, please. <laughs> it's on me. It's on I'm me. Sorry. I'm sorry for not it's, backing you up on that purge. I was just you? thinking to myself yeah, that I feel like oh, the okay. FPS seems off. On this. Okay, you're right, you're right. Okay, thank you. But I guess it's stabilizing now. It looked a little bit choppy to me. You did the thing. That was a good oh. thing. Oh! This is a support pudge, by the way. Bambo nice getting pinged. This is what happens when, when Bambo is your captain and things are going rough <laughs> or the game doesn't matter. He's like, I feel like playing support this game. Let's change it up. That's what happens. Bambo has been demoted. Cancel. Trying to run away. So is that is that off? How is, where is this Wind Ranger? Basically, if he's playing support, who's playing his role then? Is my question. Is Beast whoever Beastmaster is, I guess. Uh, yeah, which is 13. Cool. Okay. You can um, we look at his icons at least. Maybe that'll help us. 
figure things out. <laughs> that's funny when Just you bring said up, that. Bring up the scoreboard. When when you said that, I was like, man, that's kind of a harsh reaction. No, for I, need the, the, I, need the, I need the actual scoreboard, not the items. Oh, okay. Yeah, can you right click him? Which one? Just hover, hover, your, hover, hover your over mouse over there. Icon. Don't you stalk anybody in game? Dude? Come <laughs> right on. Right click. <laughs> it's Grand Grant. Okay. He's back. Press friend ID. <laughs> friend, press friend ID. You got this. You'll yeah. get there. It's Jabs. Okay. Okay. What is this? You guys are going. Do you crazy. not? Do you not do this? You've never this done is this. Next Press shift. Game. I've right, never done this. Go back in game. All right. And then just uh, just hover your mouse. All right, we're over missing things. kills. Don't this worry. That's pretty. That's pretty. You don't that's need to beer. click on everyone. We can figure it out for some of them. That's cancel. No, mm -hmm. it's definitely someone else. Okay. <laughs> Tim Bergeling. <laughs> that's Charlie. Bergelergading. Charlie and Bamboot. Okay. Uh, Raffaello is Elisash, and this is uh, Casor. Okay. Anisha, Exotic Deer, and Petos. Nice. There you go. Easy. Close that scoreboard. I didn't know what the hell you guys were trying to do. Haven't you like ever been in like a, the watch chat watching a game and like, oh, who are these players? There's, there's I don't ways. Watch Dota? What are you talking okay. about? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So just from the first like three minutes, um, lanes are being lost by the radiant team. It's not great. Uh, yeah. Pretty bad. It's, I mean, I can't really say that they're taking it seriously because they have a pudge, and that hero is. Yeah. Not good. I'm okay. sure they they'll land in more than enough hooks to compensate for these 30 CS. Iceberg, <laughs> <laughs> Iceberg landed. Uh, he landed a couple hooks. Didn't he play? Oh pudge? yeah, they play. I think it was really cool that they were able to grab a win with a core pudge. I was curious about that draft because I didn't I didn't see it and I haven't seen it yet. If they what? if they ultimately swapped the pudge to mid because else it was a core less wreck against Pugna. I think that might have been the reason they did it actually. I actually think core pudge is better than support pudge right now. It, it could also just have been the plan all along. Well, I mean, yeah, but, I, but my it, yeah. like level one pudge now, if you're support, basically all you do is you, you have to skill hook because Rot's so bad now yeah. that you just have to throw hooks at people to trade. And that, that just, mm, that's it's, a bad It's one. actually good. It does 150 pure damage. And costs it's 140 mana. It is yeah. so expensive. But it's it does very a lot. It hurts. It hurts for sure. If you have the right kind of lane, you can kill level one. <laughs> the other thing, though, is that when the, the Faceless Void ulties his teammates, they can hook him out of it. And that will work pretty well as well. We did see Kinguin play Void yesterday, and he chronoed as many teammates as enemies, I guess. So yeah. He was just going for total heroes hit by Chrono. He's got one of those relics. How oh, many heroes yeah. he are in my Chrono? He legitimately had a seven-man Chrono yesterday <laughs> in our cast. He yeah, actually had seven. Oh, no. No! Oh, oh, that hurt. The deny. He just didn't go for it. He was, I don't know, he was thinking of something else. I don't know, man. That was his bottle. Oh, he's waiting for a bottle or something? I'm not sure. Possibly. This looks like a very dead beast. No, never mind. No way, he's crazy. He's out of there. That's when he Damn, that Pugna did no damage. All right, he was support. But still, I thought that Blast was going to hit more. Does he had a? Does he have a range drop on Beastmaster? Uh, if he did, it's gone now. Nope. I don't know. That looked like it took so little damage. I'm surprised. Oh, well. Wait, why did he just get netted? Okay, whatever. You, it doesn't matter. Okay, so a three, <laughs> 3k gold lead pretty much out of lanes alone. Um, just raw farm. Beastmaster's 8 CS. Ba Night Stalker has 40. I don't know how it went this poorly. Was he 1 on 2? Whoa. Did he not have any help bottom? Uh, we, we, were, we just got here too, man. I don't know what you want from me. No, no. <laughs> but, but we could have seen it in the last 2 or 3 minutes. Yeah. I didn't notice anyone being with Beastmaster. So maybe no, he, he was, he was not. He was not being supported. So they did an aggro try lane with Naga Pudge Void. That sounds like the worst lane in all of history. It's a pretty bad lane. That Beastmaster has nine creep kills. Yep. You could ensnare into hook, and then your Void can take oh. advantage of that with an attack. He oh. hit two hooks. <laughs> Look at it. He's on a streak. Oh, no. Yeah. Do you think his skill build is right? He went two hooks instead of two rots? Yeah. Uh, I'm not actually sure what you do nowadays on Pudge. The scaling slow. I actually would argue that rot is probably <laughs> better for the point. It's kind of my feeling too, just because the the slow goes up by seven percent. Yeah, the effectiveness of the slow goes up by almost a hundred percent. Like it's well, maybe not almost, but you it's know, a, math. it's a big increase. It's yeah. a big increase. The damage Damn. does. Rod is so bad. That's so crazy, actually. That that yeah. skill got nerfed. I don't know. It wasn't even that good to begin with. It well, it went from being thirty percent at level one, and they nerfed it once, right? But they didn't nerf it quite this bad. It was like twenty-two percent, I think. Yeah. And then they nerfed it again to eleven, and now it just doesn't do anything. Well. This uh, feels like one of those games that, uh... Oh! oh wow. Hey! Yeah, just the tip. Got him. Oh, two heroes. Clipped him! That was two heroes, guys. Did you see? That's nice. 
Well, uh, the Pudge does have a level 10 talent that I like a lot now, the 30 XP gain. You think Bambo's going to hit level 10 this game? No. No. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Too harsh? No, I just I just think the game will be over before then. It's not about whether he's <laughs> playing bad or anything. It's I I feel like this radiant lineup kind of has very little to offer compared to the dire. They're gonna they just g lost all three lanes. They're getting gonna start getting pushed. Nice hook there is actually gonna save him from bamboo. Power shot away as well. Look at him. He's looking for another one. He drops down a ward. The net. Oh, miscommunication. Not over there to throw a hook. Okay. The net in your death. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, guys. Mm. I'm getting this feeling that they haven't played this lineup a lot before. Yeah. Really? Oh, they hooked him, though. Look at that. I don't know if that's what you wanted to do. <laughs> that's, that's a fair point. Uh, that's a fair point that you're making right there. Oh, decrep in one. Oh, he lives the turn. The power shot isn't going to be there in time. He's focus fired. Oh, we got him. Okay. Oh. I, was, I was scared for him. That was his three streak. Apparently, that's a core... Wind Ranger, though. Yeah, it was mid. Cancel. Well, he's the only one on this team right now uh, with a positive score, so there's that. Oh, don't rot yourself to death. He's living. Wait, no, the Tidebringer. Oh, God. I think he, he should, should rot himself to death. It's faster than running back to base, and he can't level here. He would lose gold, though, and he's I think to he's going to hook the Kanka and just die. <laughs> he's trying to save up for a Quetlick play in Minute 9. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the, the one downside to suicide. Oh, oh kill yourself. Is it quick enough? He's out of there. He wants to call the TPs. Yeah. So this is, uh, this is looking a little bit rough for the Radiant team. It's rare that you see a fight recap, and it just says minus 69 gold for one team and zero for the other. <laughs> yeah. This was a fight. Look at that. Yeah. Damage, Damage done. done. Nice. got experience change. Nice. It's, it's always control. a fight. It's Bamboo versus himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's coming back here in a second. They got another net in three. There's nothing happening. Do they have level six on anybody but Void? Yeah, they got it on the uh, the Wind Ranger as well. Yeah. Oh man, that's such such a beatdown though. Cancel's level six wind rating against level nine Kunkka. Agnesia's Kunkka has, has been very, very impressive when we watched it. The the build we saw him go Watch for the yesterday. Hook. The Halberd, yeah. He oh. went arm light into Halberd and he was just a monster in that series. Or in that game rather. Oh, he got, Ooh, got the hook off. God. That's a six hook streak though. You see that guy? Yeah, he's doing it. Six in a row. Landed. I should put the what was it? Found a kill on NS with the Chrono. There's like dash H A hook accuracy in total one. Yeah. They brought it back. I'm surprised he killed that Night Stalker without a Mask of Mana yeah. and by himself. But I have no idea how he did Some weird shit must have happened there. It was daytime, I guess. Death summary. Oh, he didn't have silence. He did a thousand damage. So he Only got some bashes, then he chronoed. He must have bashed like every hit. Good lord. You can right see it, guys. Look at the chart down below. Three bashes total over the course of 15 seconds. All right. They probably man fought each other. And then he just chronoed him and finished him off. So uh, I actually feel like the Kunkka matchup against Wind Ranger really sucks for the Wind Ranger. Yeah, I think so like, too. Yeah, because your only defensive utility is useless against Tidebringer. Yeah. You have to just outrange the tide hits, and it's actually pretty difficult because Tidebringer is huge. I'm oh, just thinking, the, the way Windrunner is supposed to play that lane is skill Windrun level one, and every time Kunkka even tries to CS, you hit him like four times. You just—that's how you trade. You have to. I think you win the lane by playing aggressively onto him. Oh, demonic purge! Yeah, you're dead. Such a good Kunkka and Shadow Demon against the Wind Ranger. That's tough, man. Yeah. His mid game is really hard, for sure. But I'll almost guarantee you that in an even matchup, this this is not how the lane should go. I think Kunkka might be favored, but not by three levels, minute 10. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It's not this bad. Two there players. are other matchups that will go like this, though. But Still doesn't have Tranquils on Pudge, right? Man, what a. This game does not look very fun to play. On the bright side, it won't last very long. That looks very fun for the Kunkka. <laughs> oh, Look at that, that. I love that combo. So this is something um, King Quinn ran yesterday as well, the Shadow Demon Kunkka combo. It's really strong for multiple reasons. Both of them can set each other up. You can catch with X Mark and you can catch with um, the Disruption. Soul Catcher is extremely powerful for Kunkka's combo, yeah. and including the Tidebringer Cleave. And the, it gives you two saves in your lineup, too. You have Ghost Ship and the Disruption. It's actually really nice. I would imagine Kinguin going into what should be playoffs after this game. There will be four and two, so I think that's guaranteed at least third. Yeah. Um, or at least tied. 
at least fourth. tied for fourth. Yes, should definitely be. Um, it's definitely something to consider uh, going up against this team. How they play this Kunkka Shadow Demon. It's been looking really great for them. Well, they've got Mask Madness on the void at least. Like that's the one good thing they have going for him. He said, "Don't give up." He's like, that's because he's the one player on his team that's having a good game. That's so he's true. like, guys, play for me, for my enjoyment of this. I mean, hypothetically, this Wind Ranger has a javelin They're going to be fighting in the Radiant Jungle. Like, yeah, they could go for they something. Songed, uh, I think the Naga's still going to die here. <laughs> <laughs> Died for that instant. <laughs> Oh, that was great. Chrono, he didn't oh. get the Night Stalker. The bone oh, bug. Oh, no. And he's silenced, so he can't hit. All right, Shadi was just running away. The time dilation means he can't get off the sun, but. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my favorite moments of all qualifiers. What happened just then? Oh, that was hilarious. Oh, they missed yeah. him. Nice. He gets out and nice well plates himself. Out. Nice. Nice job getting out there by Charlie. Uh, I think they found jabs. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. They have good spirits about it. They, I think. They landed their hook, I guess. I don't think they're going to lose much sleep over this game. Yeah. On Kingdra. All right, you go out day one. I feel like the, the bad feelings are the first day, right? Like, you, you feel pretty crappy. And then you wake up the next day and you're like, let's, let's try and mess around a little bit, maybe. maybe well, I think it's your, your level of expectation, right? Like, how far do they expect to go? Yeah. I mean, knowing Bambo, he thought he was going to win TI. But, you know, what are the rest of the team thinking? Oh. Quick, oh. Quick X mark callback to stop the dismember. Pudge versus Kunkka is not very fun. No. He has two counters to him. Well, he has one counter, but it just works two ways. He can X mark the guy who's getting hooked to save, or he can X mark during dismember and just instant pull him back to stop. Or he can torrent. Check. Or torrent, go ship. That's multiple nice things. Okay. Oh, that's a tier three tower. Oh, nice shackle from Cancel. Oh! Nisha has an armlet back up in a second, but there's the disruption. Yeah, and they're fine. Uh, oh no, he got caught as well. No chronosphere. That's oh, silence. He got silence too. Uh -huh. That was a good axe. That is a lot of low heroes. Oh, that was so boat low. damage and stuff coming God, back. God, he wants it so badly. He's trying. He's really trying. This could be an ultra kill with the power shot. No, he misses. So low. Void's going for the. He's going after the nice soccer. Oh, they did an X mark play. Oh, he's like oh, turn around. No. Oh, the oh, the oh Bambo. <laughs> GG right now. He's got to stay alive. He needs 70 gold. Oh, like oh he's closing in on boots. That's pretty good. Yeah. He Ten got minutes his blade. Oh, five man chrono. Look at that damage. Mm. It's mostly mm. armlet, but. Ooh, oh, the shackle. Oh, that's nice. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. I hate it when Pudges do that to me. He could have just waited for the ensnare, dude. And he says, like, no, nah, I want to hook now. He could have hooked after. And I like how I he think, tips too. the Naga Siren, too, as if it's the Naga <laughs> that messes up. <laughs> Look, I feel like if you've talked to Bambo even one time, you understand that, too. I know what he said. He's like, of course I'm going to hook there. Get out of the way. <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? Of course I'm going to hook. <laughs> oh, that's so accurate. Your Bambo impression is really good. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that's a dead Naga. He only died there because... He uh, didn't get out of the way of the hook. That would have been a dead nice stalker. Mm. Kill Simple. courtesy of Przyn Przyjazni. Przyjazni Pizik. It sounds like an insult or something we shouldn't be saying on stream, so let's not do it. I'm glad you did it, not me. I mean, I, I, I don't know. Something is just telling me this this is something bad. In Polish, of All course. All right, come on. Change the view. Thank you. I'm sorry. Do it on Kunka. Watch the bot fight, bot fight, bot fight. Ah. Oh. That's a shackle and a half. But the damage coming out is looking far too much. I mean, this Wind Ranger's doing literally nothing. Vanguard is so strong against Windrunner. Oh. And the chase down, Call two person torrent. torrent, the Tidebringer. It's all gone downhill. Nice. Oh. I mean, you know, you, this game has been pretty cloudy, but Cancel Shackles have been on point. Yeah. Does he get out? 
I'm pretty sure he just got his oh. protractor next to his screen for this hero. Oh. And there's not a whole lot else to say about this game, to be honest. I mean, as soon as I saw a Pudge in an unticketed game, I just had a feeling. Yeah, this is probably Bambo's like... Bambo's level 8, though. He might get 10. They're probably like, you know what? We're, we're not even going to bother restarting. This doesn't matter. We know this is going to be bad. No, one's, no one's going to want to watch this. That's why it's not on the ticket. Yep. <laughs> Conspiracy. They've got the they've got the chrono. Okay, this is actually the one here they can kill pretty straightforward. And he's out. Oh, they want it so badly. Does he know? Oh That's actually the worst when you come up to a TP like that and you have no idea how long it's been going, you know? Well he was shadow ammo this guy. He just broke his smoke. No, I, I I know, but he like I guess it's he broke smoke but like he didn't know how fresh the TP was, you know? Yeah, yeah, true. No compendium tip for Void. They seem to be in good spirits. That's because they're winning. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the things you always need to keep in mind when you look at the scoreboard of the round robin, and you're like, oh, there's three teams that are tied or whatever with 3-2. And then you look at their remaining matchups, and there might be a big discrepancy. Kinguin won an important game yesterday, but I can't remember which one it was. Did they beat Blinkpool? Or, no, they still have to play Blinkpool. That's their last game. So they beat... Alliance? I think they beat Alliance because they didn't beat Wind and Rain. They lost to Wind and Rain and OG, but they won the rest. And yeah. that's what you need to do to get third in this group, as it looks. And Kingon are well on their way to do that. So they're getting the wins they need. They're not. They've basically lost the games that you could consider them not favored in. So they're delivering to expectations here. And then if they learn the right things from those matchups, maybe they can become favorites in the playoffs. It's best of threes, there's a lower bracket. Definitely uh, gives them a chance to adjust. And I think they have some cool ideas. I think they have some specific heroes that they play very well. In this game, they have two of my favorite heroes for them to play. They have the Nature's Prophet that I think Exotic Deer is really, really good on. And Nisha's Kunkka. Oh. I thought he was going to himself there. But I guess that's kind of hard. It takes that's eight seconds. Just the Aegis there as well. The Naga Siren's dead. Cancel. Shackle. Not going to land that time. The dead Wind Ranger. He's demonic perch. It's, it's like actually unplayable as Wind Ranger playing yeah. against a demonic perch. It is so strong. Oh, well, Bambo's Bambo hit hitting him. That exotic deer is on a killing spree, and just when it looks like it's going to be a little bit better, as he kills him up top. Oh, okay, that's where the void died. Yeah. He got soloed by an Aegis Prophet. That's kind of surprising. Well, he went on him to stop his TP. Because at the same time that the rest of his team was pushing mid, he was sitting on top of the Void Shadow Bladed. They're going to play it out here. They have a song. Um, what level is Bambo? He's level 8. He might he's get still there. Still level 8. I mean, in order to get level 10, he has to actually get experience. Is he going to get EXP? If they get one kill, he gets There's a lot of XP. There's little creeps that are nearby. What are these things? They're going down. Oh, but he's over here. <laughs> he's just, like trying not to get level 10. They spotted him, I think? Mm, I don't think so. Oh, wait, picks. they have a warp in the base. Yeah, they definitely yeah. saw him running there. Oh, no. That's well, level 10 right there. Oh, he's yeah. on level 9. Ow. Well, he's certainly farmed, that's for sure. He's come a long way since his no boots days, you know? He's True. got Tranquils now, he's got a Quelling Blade, even a Wind Lace. Hey. Picked up a ward or two along the way as well. I, lo I love this net worth distribution when you look across the board. It looks oh, so this funny. is how, when the game looks, uh, looks rough. It's almost a complete color separation. That one's really rare, though. Normally, yeah. you don't see that. This is the position four Pugna is richer than the enemy position one, but the Shadow Demon is still second to last. I do feel like the Shadow Demon has had like a huge impact this game though, regardless. For sure. Yeah, I mean, having a low net worth doesn't influence your impact in the game. As a oh, God. Oh. All right, oh, good hook, back. but X. Yeah, I don't even need a torrent, just throw out the boat. It's still on cooldown. Great play, Chrono. Uh, all right. There's not any heroes in there. Does he get Dagger and Furion? Maybe he went invis and he tried to want. He tried to. All right, they have to well hook this guy in order for him to get ten. No, he messed up the timing. 
They had the X down anyways. Oh man, that feels really bad. He needs the 10. Give him the 10. He should die. This might be it. It's his time. It's his place to arm no, a toggle. Oh, oh, he had 10. He had 10, right? He, did. He, got he didn't get to skill the toggle. Oh my god. I am glad that game braced us. All right. Well. It's a shame that it wasn't ticketed for everyone to enjoy in Dota 2. I mean, I enjoyed it. <laughs> I did too. Fortunately for everyone, Bambo is uh, still on my friends list from like TI4 or 3, I think. This was the... You played this the whole time. You remember when uh, we were at the old hotel at TI and they had the computer playing area downstairs and there was like a billion PCs? We played pubs together. Yeah. That's when they added me. Okay. Yeah. And since then, you've never talked to him? No, I've talked to him a few times, actually. But Do you regret that? No. Okay. Bambo's like one of my favorite people, dude. If I was as confident as he is doing anything, <laughs> dude, I could go places. You know what I mean? Like, Bambo confidence is like, normal people are, are pretty confident in the stuff that they're good at. Bambo confidence is, I've never done this before in my life, but I will destroy you at it. That's Bambo. Does he deliver? No. Okay. Well, and then he okay. makes excuses. And then it's like... That's the glory of Bambo, is that he believes it in his heart, that even when he loses or he's wrong, he's still right. That is not necessarily a good trait in a team game. Yeah, but it's an entertaining. I'm sure, for Make us. it till you make it, man. It's, it's, it's no, I, clearly, cool. Bambo it's is good at the it. game. He just, he just knows that he has enough talent that he can get really good at something. So, you know, and yeah, and when he loses, sometimes he'll make some excuses. But, you know, he, he is he's genuinely talented, just... Also has a bit of an ego. That's all. Sounds like every Dota player ever. <laughs> no, he's, he's very special. He's different. <laughs> he's a unique one. Um. Well, I can take a look at what that means for the bracket. Uh, spoiler alert: It doesn't mean much. It means something. It means King Quinn is through. Does actually. it actually mean that fully? Because Wind and, and two, Rain right? aren't guaranteed through yet. They, according Wait, to Wikipedia. I think there's only but three Rain teams. Two, and so are King Quinn. I think it does. There's only three teams that can get four and three now. And OG are first, right? And okay. and I believe the the other stuff we were talking about was like who can get three wins and then win a tiebreaker. So technically, Singularity could also get four wins because they're two and three right now. But if they get four and three, can Blinkpool also get four and three? Yeah, they can. Yeah. So that would be wait. So there would be a four-way tie for second in the case. True. Exactly. Yes. So it's oh. not guaranteed, right? That can technically be four, four and three teams. But Singularity is playing Win and Rain right now, and that that is again like. It's not completely unlikely because when it, it just depends on if Singularity can beat out Wind and Rain. Yeah, that's the big question, well, which I think be... is a tough one. If that happens, that's big stuff. So the options that are left for the option that is left for Alliance now is Blinkpool has to lose twice, mm -hmm. and Singularity has to win this game. Yep. And if not for that, the top four will be four wins or more. Yes. Um, and okay. that's the scary. That's the scary place to be. Um, and again, like not entirely unlikely, but it does, the, particularly the win by Kingwin in this game, uh, really shuts down a lot of the chances that Alliance had of, of making it through and also singularity, um, because now there's only the, either the four way tie for second or the, um, three way tie for fourth. Yes. I think that sounds about right. That's yeah. what we can get. Um, well, we've done a lot of math. We've done some pudge stuff. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts folks? on this game? I mean, the next life. game has a lot of implications. So, <laughs> any I mean, I'm final thoughts on this game? Well, game the next game. <laughs> the ne see, that, that's the thing. Is I don't have any thoughts on that game yeah. because as soon as Bambo picked Pudge, I'm sure it's, you know those those games that you play when you're in a pub and you just you know within like 30 seconds that the more you commit to this game, the more annoying it's going to be for you. So you just like scoop your brain out, just put it on the desk, just wait for the next game. That was watching that game to me. What's their next game? Yes. What, Kingwin's next game or? Kingdress. Kingdress. You said you just put your scoop out and wait for the next game. Wait, was that their last game? Yeah, it was their last oh, no. game. <laughs> well, their, their next game is a pub game then. Because that one wasn't, on it, it wasn't even back. ticketed anyway, so there yeah. you go. They're halfway there already. What, can you blame me? Come on. I don't blame you. Absolutely. I, I actually, that analogy sit well in my brain, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for us. Uh, we're going to go to a quick break. We're going to take some time to reflect on life. So stay tuned, everybody. More from the EU qualifiers. A big one coming up next. It's going to be Singularity versus Wind and Rain.